waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, folks. We've got callers that have been holding since Michael Savage was on with us. I'm going to go to you on the Ebola subject. I'm going to open the phones up on any topic, any issue. We'll be interspersing breaking news and other economic news I haven't gotten to and some Second Amendment news in this hour. Toll-free number to join us, 800-259-9231. The phones are loaded, but when you hear a caller hang up, that's your chance to get in and on the air. Now, I said earlier I was just taking calls on Ebola. A lot of these callers have been holding to talk about that. We'll get to those. Now you can talk about anything you want. Uh, but Oliver, uh, Ed, John, Joseph... And so many others, we're going to go to all of you. Now, I told Ed to get on hold because he called in not about Ebola when I said it was only Ebola calls, but about uh, getting Liberty back on track. So I'm going to go back to him now to make his point, and we'll go to Oliver, John, Joseph, and others. Go ahead, Ed. Hi. Thank you for holding me. I uh, didn't talk about Ebola because I don't get to watch the show. It's okay, live. brother. You're on air. It's awesome. You're on air. Go ahead. All right. Uh, on Ebola... I believe wholeheartedly that it is a false flag because they keep leaving all their most absolute basic protocols, you know, wide, wide open. You know, let's just let them in here. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's not going to be good. Uh, but I do believe that they're, they're, uh, they've got it with a, what's the word, uh, a higher survivability rate. If you look at Africa, it would appear based off the number that got it and died, you know, that it's, it's actually better than a 90% uh, uh, survivability That's rate, fine, but, Ed, but, but back to your point about getting uh, liberty back on track. Go ahead. What were your okay, four yeah. points? Uh, first, federalize the, gov uh, federalize the Fed, actually federalize it. Yep. We need to privatize the Board of Education because I believe that education is most basic. Without education, we can't see through the curve. I get privatizing it. The problem is the globalists are already waiting to privatize it themselves as the answer to what they did to education. But go ahead. Oh, oh that's just not good. Okay. And then, obviously, we have to abolish the NDAA and Obamacare. Yes. Obamacare is meant to kill our economy. That's why it's all in the news today that our economy is in absolute shambles. That was the plan. Good to hear from you. Oliver, in Texas, you're on the air. Oh, my God. Alex, how are you? I'm good, brother. Go ahead. First of all, I've been listening to you for over 10 years. Uh, I'm from New York originally. I was there for 9-11, which was not a good place to be. And um, you do great work. Thank you, sir. You yes, I am. Go ahead. What's your take on Ebola? All right. I'm in, I'm in Fort Worth now. Okay. So I'm close to the where it is, you know. Yes. I'm, not, I'm right next door to it, but I'm close. And any other politician or president would take this as an opportunity with all the money that they have which is not their money, it's our money, but they would, they would bankroll everything to make them look good. He's doing exactly the opposite. And would letting his whole party no turn against him, yeah, what's behind that? He has a job, bring down the country. Exactly. It's like, you know, he has a 19% or 11% approval rate. It's like you could boost it to 50% immediately. Immediately. So what do you think's yeah. behind it? What do you think's behind it? It's kind of scary because there is no sense behind it. Exactly. Obviously, he wants it to spread because a normal, and I hate politicians as much as you do probably, uh, a normal politician would take this opportunity to make himself look good. But he's not doing that. He's doing the exact opposite. All he has to do is do crazy stuff. Exactly, and that tells you they are out of control, and it shows they got something even bigger planned that's so horrible this won't even matter. They are, they're an enemy trying to bring the country down. I just keep explaining that because they think the media is so controlled that they'll pose as saviors on the crises they created to consolidate power.
That's how they operate. Only their operations are allowed to operate. We're going to come back and talk to Joseph, John, Alan, Gina, and others. And coming up at the bottom of the hour, our intrepid reporter went down to the state capitol and has the head of the state health department saying there's no risk, close quote, that Ebola could spread from patient zero, even though someone in a hospital brought in out of uh, Liberia, or was it Sierra Leone in Madrid, Spain, has spread it. That is simply amazing. We're going to be taking your phone calls. Then there's some of this news I'm going to get to. Obama, there's a sense the world is spinning so fast nobody's able to control it. In this election, Obama's party benches him. That's right. Blame the last puppet for their whole agenda. No, they're the ones behind it. Loyal Panetta defends his criticism of Obama. Jimmy Carter, President Obama, blew it on ISIL. See, now they're trying to say, oh, it was a mistake. We should have dealt with them. No, you armed them. See, the whitewash is ongoing because this woke up the military. Confidence in Obama on economy hits new low in a new poll. Hillary's Hispanic problem. Immigration activists recruit Gutierrez to challenge Clinton 2016 as she declares she's pro-gun and wants to control the borders. That is all total theater, totally staged with Gutierrez. I mean, just total theater. I like Hillary, liberal. You better vote for her, Alex, you darn commie. What are you against, women? You're like that sexist. Kissing a woman is sexual assault. That was in the news today that the uh, famous photo of the sailor kissing the nurse getting off the ship after victory against Japan. They're now saying that's rape. Oh, they teach on the colleges. Sex, period, by a male is rape. Men are inherently evil. No, humans have been inherently predators, ladies and gentlemen. And women can be predators as well. But sex between a man and a woman is a beautiful thing when it's consenting. And I know that sounds like a conspiracy theory, but uh, you're right. Two plus two equals five. And, and Rachel Maddow, she, uh, she, she sets all the parameters. She says it's bad, so it is. We're not in a cult or anything here where, where a man kissing a woman's evil. Where a man taking a woman who wants it is evil. I mean, let me tell you, that's what women are looking for. There's all these guys raised by the liberal trendiness system. And maybe they got a girlfriend that keeps them like a pet, that, that pats them on the head like their pet cat or dog. But they always get rid of them. Let me tell you men what women want. They want a confident, smart, informed, involved man, even if they don't know it, who will conquer them. That's what women want. They want to be conquered, not in a bad way. The truth is when you conquer them, they conquer you. The species isn't complete without the man and the woman. I absolutely love women, want them to succeed. I'm not in competition with women. I know what women want, though. Even if this culture hasn't taught women what they want, so they're at historic, all-time, unsatisfied, unhappy. Especially by the time they hit 45. They chase that whole... Esquire magazine, um, Vanity Fair. Oh, what's the big women's magazine that they follow every word of it? Uh, what's the big one? The big woman's uh, Cosmo, Cosmopolitan. That is all CIA written, declassified to wreck you and wreck your life and make you alone. And the state is your man. And don't worry. He isn't going to lovingly conquer you and take care of you, and you take care of him. He's going to slap you upside the head and knock your teeth out and pimp you out good and then euthanize you when he's done with you, baby. <laughs> You're going to say, baby, I did everything. I brought you 100% of the money, and you won't even give me food to eat. And he's going to backhand you and say, shut up. <laughs> going to raise those taxes on you. Going to give you those deadly Gardasil shots, and you're going to thank him. You want, you want a man? You got a man. It's called the state. People don't believe me. Pull up that video. I mean, this is in mainstream news. And they're actually with straight face. I, I meant to cover this. It's in my email. I never gave it to one of the writers. We go in there. It's from Sunday or maybe Saturday when I had it sent to my email from one of my friends that had it. Yoga studios all over Austin aren't allowed they tell people, don't dress like Indian stuff, and we, we probably can't sell Indian stuff in our gift shops, and we can't have India parties. That's like saying if somebody's into karate and they want to wear a you know, karate outfit, you're anti-Japanese. 
it's that mentally ill. Where I heard the two guys a few years ago at Martin Springs, three guys, but they go, let's go get Chinese food. Two were Hispanic, one was white. And one of the Hispanic ones goes, man, don't say that. It's racist. And they weren't joking. Like, oh, the words, words are racist. Talking is racist. See, you eat the school lunch the government says. You follow what they do. You, you, you only say what they say. Whatever the new propaganda is, then you're safe. <sighs> but you don't dress like a geisha girl or a cowboy or an Indian or an Eskimo. See, because at this one yoga studio, and they mention it in the email, someone came to the party last year at Halloween dressed as an Eskimo. And people thought that was racist. Really? I, I mean, I dress like a pirate. I dress like, uh, you know, I could dress like uh, Kim Jong-un. It's not against Asians. Thinking about going to a party this year dressed as Kim Jong-un. Just to have fun. No, no, that's anti-Asian. See, anything you do is to be labeled that so you can be demonized and put into guilt and do what they say. Whoever put that article?